When it comes to recently released free agents, no matter what position they play, Ravens fans, we can often look like some of the thirstiest fans in the NFL. Because immediately, as soon as somebody is released, we're like, hey, can we get him? Can we sign him? Should we do it? Can we do it? And we think of all these different ways and these different possibilities with how they could fit in with the Ravens offense, defense, or maybe even special teams. And not that there's anything wrong with that, because it's always fun to think about the possibilities. I encourage that. Uh, but... In this case, with Latavius Murray, things were a bit different. And the reason I say that is because usually with whatever free agents we're thinking about adding to the Ravens, there's usually a divide. There's usually some people on the side where, oh, yeah, I'm with it. Let's sign them. Let's get them on the team. Let's bring them on. Then there's this other side where it's like, no, I don't want that player. Uh-uh. He don't need to come here. What a waste. No. But with Latavius Murray... Literally every single Ravens fan that I saw was with it. Every single one. Now, what made it even crazier, even Jamison Hensley, he tweeted the eyes emoji and said Ravens. I'm like, what, even Jamison Hensley getting in this too? And then on top of that, under Adam Schefter's tweet, and you know what, let's read Adam Schefter's tweet. It says, the Saints are releasing running back Latavius Murray per source. They asked for a pay reduction yesterday, and he refused. Murray is coming off of his best season, averaging 4.5 yards per carry and 7.7 .7 yards per catch. Now, something to remember, he is a backup. This guy was not a starter. Let's read those numbers again. He is coming off of his best season, averaging 4.5 yards per carry. And 7.7 .7 yards per catch. So, Adam Schefter let it be known that he's out there now. He refused the pay cut, something that Brian McFarlane brought up because Jonas Schaefer brought up a good point. Jonas Schaefer talked about, well, with, with his base salary, uh, it was like 2.95 mil, I believe, somewhere around that ballpark. And the Ravens, they have a little bit over one mil uh, and so it's big, pretty much strapped. So could they even do it? Could they even make the, could they even afford them? And Brian McFarlane said, well, that's a good point. But then you got to think about from Latavius Murray's standpoint, his point of view. Did he refuse a pay cut because he wanted all his money? He wanted to keep all his money that he possibly could. Or did he refuse a pay cut because he was like, mm, Jameis Winston, my quarterback. He's cool, but... Then we got Taysom Hill, our other quarterback. What is the direction of these Saints? Ah, yeah, this ain't for me. So we don't know. We don't know because Latavius Murray obviously hasn't shared that information. We haven't heard anything from his agent. But we do know that bottom line, he's a free agent. So he ain't on the Saints anymore. Now, it would make perfect sense if the Ravens did bring him on. Why? Because he would be a significant uh, third running back option um, for the Ravens. Now, uh, one thing that was brought to my attention too, and it kind of hurts my heart, it would be a very bittersweet type of thing because we certainly would have a nice uh, third option at running back if they brought on Latavius Murray. But the impact of that, shout out to my guy, Michael Nelson, in the comment section. He said, whatever running back they sign, meaning the Ravens, Tyson Williams will become that special teams running back guy since he's the youngest and least experienced. And that, it, it makes sense. It makes a whole lot of sense. Um, because, yeah, he would be just that. Because a lot of times we think about, um, and well, we recently we've been thinking about, like, yeah, that third running back, they would probably need to play some special teams. And... You know, if they bring on Le'Veon Bell, Devontae Freeman, Todd Gurley, Adrian Peterson, Frank Gore, and I'm just throwing names out there, those guys don't play special teams. They don't. So you would have to think that, yeah, they, they may put Tyson Williams on special teams. Um, but we'll see how all of that works itself out. But one of the strange things, along with Jamison Hensley, him tweeting about it, uh, of course, you know, Sarah Ellison, she she did her thing, as we know. Um, shout out to my guy, Hoodie Ramey. He let us know, too. Um, but Phil Yates, he said, feels like the Ravens should give his agent a call soon. And even Colin Coward, he responded to that and said this. So he was agreeing with Phil Yates. 
So seems like everybody feels like this is a move that just makes so much sense and it just needs to happen. But will it? Let's look at Josina Anderson, her tweets from earlier, a few hours ago, because she said that the Ravens were considering adding free agent running back Trenton Cannon. And I looked at his tape, and th that dude can fly. He can fly. Uh, he ran that same sort of RPO type of offense in college, and he is quick and he's fast. Again, there's a difference. He, but he got both. That's who he, out of there, quick. Um, so he would fit and he can play returner as well. So if they did bring him on, say, for instance, with Devin DuVernay, because we know that Devin DuVernay is their primary kick returner right now. Maybe that would allow Devin DuVernay to spend that much more time on offense and let him be the kick returner if he was even added to the regular roster. So... We'll see what happens with that because, again, nobody's been signed yet. And even though nobody's been signed yet, uh, some people have still been chilling in Baltimore. Because she also said, meanwhile, free agent Devontae Freeman was still completing his medical workups for the Ravens today per league sources. So, yes, that extended his visit. Keeping, keeping an eye on if a deal gets to reach here. So Devontae Freeman said, I ain't leaving yet. Y'all gonna have to kick me out. I ain't going nowhere. But he he getting his medical history updated and whatnot. All right, cool. So what about Le'Veon Bell? What what's he doing? What what's going on with him? Well, she said, uh, yes, Le'Veon Bell, Devontae Freeman, and Trenton Cannon, all of them boys. She said we're still around today for Baltimore after working out before. Per league sources, Cannon came to the facility today. Per source. Things getting sorted out. So all those boys in the room right now looking at each other like, what's up? What's up? What you want? What? They just staring at each other because I'm sure there's a lot of tension there. Because all of these guys want a job. All of them. And they want a job with the Ravens. Had they not wanted a job with the Ravens, I'm sure they wouldn't have even showed up to a workout. They would have declined whatever workout the Ravens offered them. But they're there, and they're still there. So, th sh shout out to Cher P. Because in a previous video, the one we did about Devontae Freeman earlier today, um, a lot of people, some people saying, yeah, for Devontae Freeman. Some people saying, no. Some people saying, yeah, for Le'Veon Bell. Some people saying, no. But I liked her. I actually loved her approach to the whole situation. She said, give me both. I want both. And I was like, hey, <laughs> no problem. No problem because I know a lot of people, when it's come to Le'Veon Bell, biggest thing I hear, um, well, one of the biggest things I hear, oh, locker room problem. I'm like, What? Locker room, pro that's the best you got for Le'Veon, for the reason why Ravens shouldn't sign Le'Veon Bell? Locker room problem? Okay, Ravens don't, they should have never traded for Marcus Peters. Locker room problem. They should have never signed Steve Smith Sr. Locker room problem. So yeah, Mike Wallace was another guy too. They should have never signed him, huh? Locker room problem. Earl Thomas was, a oh yeah, that's a bad example. Anyway, with Le'Veon Bell. That wouldn't even be my biggest concern. No, it wouldn't. Now, Le'Veon Bell, uh, so another point that a lot of people have brought up with him is that even as a running back, we know how excellent of a receiver he is, and we do. He is a phenomenal receiver. My guy JT brought out a good point. He said, hey, with Le'Veon Bell, just in case something happened to one of your receivers, you could even use him there because you know he got the hands. He got good height. He could do it. And I'm like, well, yeah, he can. We know that. We've seen it, and especially Ravens. And a, a great point that he made when comparing Le'Veon Bell to Devontae Freeman, he said, well, Le'Veon Bell, he knows what it's like to show up in big games. Um, and he brought up Devontae Freeman whiffing on, having, on a, the missed assignment that led to a, uh, a fumble in the Super Bowl. But Le'Veon Bell, he knows how to show up in big games and – he already got that AFC North attitude. He knows all about it. So he would fit right in. And I was like, oh, well, 
Okay, good points there. Great points there. Um, and, and when I watched, when I was watching him earlier today, um, like I said, he doesn't have the fastest acceleration, doesn't have the fastest top speed either. Uh, but he is able to make quick decisions. He wouldn't be able to dance back there, but he also doesn't have to dance in the backfield. He knows how to make quick decisions. So he would actually be able to still work in this Ravens offense. It'd be a little bit different, a little bit different, but he could still make it happen. Now with Devontae Freeman, something about them, a lot of kickback that I've seen from the people who don't want Devontae Freeman, they talk about his injury history. The injuries, yes, he has had plenty of injuries. Yes, 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 that's true. But at the same time, he was a feature back before. If he came to the Ravens, he would not be a feature back anymore. This right now is Gus Edwards' show, and one thing that gives me confidence now that the Ravens will actually really feature Gus Edwards is obviously, one, because J.K. Dobbins is gone, but two, because they paid him already. All that contract pettiness and that game that it seemed as if was being played with Gus Edwards, that's behind them now. Because I really do think that they, with Gus Edwards, they held him back so they wouldn't have to pay him all that money. I really do think that there's been plenty of times where Gus Edwards has been going off, getting these big runs, and then the Ravens say, oh, no, come here, come, come sit down. Come, come, come have a seat. Come take a break. Come chill for a minute. It seems as if they hold that production down. So when it came time for Gus Edwards to get paid, they could be like, oh, well, look at your numbers. Your numbers are cool or whatnot, but that's not top running back numbers right there. Oh, your numbers, yeah, they, they cute, but you think you deserve all that money? Nah. You, so they got him for cheap. But again, now that part is already out the way. They signed him to a deal worth five mil per year. Five mil per year. And while, yes, running backs aren't valued the same as they once were, still, that's a steal. But anyway, um, Gus Edwards should be featured. So Devontae Freeman, he would not. So all the injuries that he got, would that absolutely wipe away any chance that he would have for injury? No, but it would lessen it. And again, like I said, when I watched him, the film on him even in New York last year with the Giants, he still got that burst. He still got that speed. So, again, wouldn't be mad if they added him too. Now, if they are going to add one or even two of these running backs, some roster spots got to open up. And with, with Cannon, I could envision them putting him on a practice squad and him maybe be a game day call up if need be. Um, but with Le'Veon Bell or Devontae Freeman, those two, uh, whichever one they sign, or if they sign both, will probably head straight to the active roster. But um, this has been a very busy day for the Ravens uh, in their running back situation. Um, literally any second now, uh, we could hear that any of these guys, or all of these guys, <laughs> got signed. And so we'll just be waiting and seeing how this whole thing uh, sorts itself out. So team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love you all. Thank you all for listening. And as this crazy saga continues, we will keep you updated and informed and educated as much as we can. We out.